Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be going over the current Bitcoin short squeeze, the level of support that we're bouncing from, the next really big resistance level that you must be aware of over the next few days of trading. And I also want to be sharing with you some really important knowledge and insights into this Bitcoin chart. Honestly, block out all distractions around you and give me your full focus for the next 15 minutes or so. And I can promise you, you will thank yourself by the end of this video. We're going to be sharing some great insights and knowledge into trading Bitcoin. So ladies and gentlemen, without further said or do, let's get into what we love, the Bitcoin technical analysis. So a few things to remember. Where were we coming down to support yesterday? Why are we getting this bounce to the upside? And where are we finding resistance currently on the Bitcoin chart? We're going to be going over that during the course of today's video. Whew, it's going to be a good one. So let's begin, first of all, with obviously the first simple fact, the crab harmonic pattern. OK, and I actually want to share with you a really important insight into the Fibonacci extension. OK, so that's what we're going to be starting off with, obviously. This is what we were posting on the 27th. This was two days ago. You all saw this from yesterday's video um, where we were looking for this crab harmonic to come below our daily level. So basically, the one thing that we were certain of is that we will be breaching the daily at this moment in time because of the weakness that we could see on the charts. In the end, we obviously got an initial bounce of a 40, basically $44,000. We came back up to form another lower high, and we got our drop to the downside at our key level, $43,000. And if we add on the crab harmonic, so we obviously go from the low to the high, to the low of B, to the high of C, and then you get this move down for D. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to share with you here is the cheat sheet that we have on the Chart Champions website, so you can really understand why did we get this bounce of D. Well, this is the cheat sheet that we've done on the website and you can see that our targets for D are going to be the 1.618 extension, okay? So this is really important information that you look for the D of a crab at the 1.618 extension of XA. So if we bring this back to the charts, and I, I do acknowledge this may be a little bit too complex and confusing for some people, so I'm going to try and explain it slowly so you understand. You can see we go X, A, B, C, and then obviously for D, you do have a bit of a box of an area of where it could possibly hit, okay? And your bigger target is obviously, as given on the cheat sheets that we give, 1.618, okay? XA expansion, 1.618. You've got all the information in the cheat sheet. So if we take out our Fibonacci expansion and we go from X to A, ladies and gentlemen, you can see how we hit the 1.618 Fibonacci expansion to literally the dollar low to give you the absolute low of D. And that was off of that 1.618 Fib expansion of X to A. Let me do it one more time so you can see. If we delete this and we delete this, take out that tool again, go from the low of X to the high of A, which is obviously here. We're just moving this across so you can clearly see. And we're going to click at the high, low to high, 1.618 Fibonacci expansion. That gives you your crab finalized. Obviously, the way that you trade this, X, A, B, up to C, down to D. If you look here at the cheat sheet, that's where you get your entry. You have your stop loss below that because that would totally invalidate the, the trade setup. And then obviously you get into your long positions. This is a bullish crab. And ladies and gentlemen, we can start to see how this um, played out. I just wanted to start off by giving you some education of why it got another move to the downside. The confluences that you had down here, you actually had five different confluences too long off of that $43,000 just above $43,000 level. Five different confluences is pretty crazy. Um, but let's just now remove that crap. That has played out. Okay, that has played out. So we can now remove that and hopefully you've learned something. If you want more cheat sheets like that, we obviously have many, 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 many cheat sheets on the Chart Champions website. But bringing it back to what we have here then. So what you will see here, we come down to $43,000. And this is, a, this, is just a, this is just a post that I really, really, really want to share. So what we're talking about here is um, I made this post two weeks ago while we were above $43,000. And my exact words were, wake me up at $43,000. That's where I will trade again. 
And I, and I and I had to quote it because I actually had some people trolling me and laughing, saying, uh, "Daniel, this is not going to be hit," um, you know, because of the fact that we went up first, and then you know, this is the mindset that people get into that you can have a plan of longing forty three thousand dollars, and obviously price went to fifty eight thousand dollars, and then people are going to be thinking, "Oh, this is never going to hit," you know, la 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 la. And I love this post because. <laughs> Here we go. Who 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 laughs now? When we actually hit that forty three thousand dollar target level, we obviously had in the end even more confluence. You had the MPOC, you had the one dot six one eight crab extension there. So you had all of these different confluences, and uh, <laughs> you can you can you can read some of these posts yourself. Shout out to the legend. Igor is the legend. Igor is the legend. And as Imi says here, sometimes it's just you just need to get into that mindset and that thought process of. You know, you've got to be you've got to be patient for those sort of levels. You've got to be patient and then you've got to give it time. When you hit those levels, you've got to give it time. So as you can see, we kind of put in a rounded bottom around here, but there was even more confluence. There's even more confluence that I want to show you. Obviously, we are going to get to why we're bouncing around here in a, in a second. But I just want to show you one more thing that we had. So if we zoom out a little bit, what is the pattern that everybody, in my opinion, was watching yesterday. So what is the pattern that everybody was watching on this Bitcoin chart? I think it's fairly obvious. It was the falling wedge. I thought this was a very obvious pattern that you had. Okay, So you are obviously taking your uh, trend lines from the highs to the lows, and then you go from the low, exp expand it to your next trend, you know, next wick touch, and then you get the low of your falling wedge. And this, in my opinion, was really nice because the people that were longing the bottom of the falling wedge, in my opinion, would have got stopped out. And essentially, everybody that wanted to long the falling wedge would have closed as you started to get these closes below the falling wedge. Because what are most people going to be thinking? You know, you have to remember this is a pretty obvious pattern. Most people are going to be thinking that if they're longing the low of the falling wedge, if it starts to close below it, then they're going to get out of their trades. So you done not only hitting the crab extension, not only hitting the MPC, not only hitting the five different levels of confluence that you have here, but you also had the fake out of people that were longing, most likely got stopped out of their position before the actual rise in price happened. So it's like you had a lot of factors here of why this is going to be a good long. Um, and it's also it's also nice because of the fact that you closed below the falling wedge, that would have faked out a lot of people that were trading the falling wedge and didn't know the other factors of support that you had there. Okay. So you, you can start to see now how you have to look at many different factors, many different confluences of how you get these good positions, of how you start to come around these thought processes. Okay. And I will share with you now a uh you know basically what i was looking at in last night's champions live stream i was going over this long position while we were down at the lows yesterday and explaining why this is a really important support where the invalidation and stop loss will go on this long position and where the target is on this long this was the exact setup that i was going through in last night's champions live stream okay this is the post that after that ends um, you know, oh yeah, I actually posted before that live stream even started that I got a long position running <laughs> before we even start the live stream. We're going to see what happened. That was obviously based off of $43,000. Uh, I actually got filled 43300 So just above 43000 basically. And what I'm saying, as long as we hold that support, I'm going to be looking for this falling wedge to, to break up here. I'm in a long position. Let's go, sort of thing. So you can start to see how this, well, pretty nice and this is what what uh what, we, what i was waking up to this morning take profit two being here so i have hit two take profits on this trade that's really important to remember you can see other people in the group waking up to take profit two waking up to take profit two myself that was also a take profit two uh from forty three thousand dollar long position waking up this morning to around forty seven thousand two hundred dollars and that's really simply just following well just following the plan that i had i had um i will share Three things that I said in this Champions Live stream, I was saying, definitely, this is an awful short. If you're shorting at $44,000, $43,000, you I have no idea what you're doing. That's the worst short position you can get in the world. But that said, we were looking at the volume and there were many people shorting $43,000. So guess what happens when everybody starts to short $43,000? You can start to get this short squeeze. I truly, that was hand on heart what I was saying. Never would I short here in my life. 
And obviously, I was entering along at $43,000. And what are we waking up to this morning? Ladies and gentlemen, what we're waking up to this morning is a short squeeze. You are sh seeing shorts squeeze this morning. So everybody that over the past 48 hours that was entering the shorts down and around these lows... Well, it's obviously just you got to you always got to be thinking to yourself, when is the good shorts? Your good shorts are at the, the high of the daily. If, if you're shorting down and around here, well, you have that forty three thousand dollar level that we have been waiting weeks for. You got to be thinking to yourself, how is this, this is never in no sense of the word? It's just never, ever a good long position. It's never a good short position to short at massive support and forty three to forty two thousand dollars massive support. If you're shorting there, it's just way too late way 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 too late that's all that's all i can say on that okay so I've, i think i've covered enough of why we bounced down here and i and why i wanted to cover this so extensively is is so you really can actually learn okay why we bounced around those lows how that crap actually come down perfectly let's just do it one more time because of the perfection <laughs> how we actually perfectly came down to that 1.618 and we got that bounce underway never breached that low of the wick that was made how we actually faked out of the falling wedge so everybody longing the falling wedge likely to close their position and then they close their longs they see it pump they're going to be fomo -boing, fomo -boing back into it how you had that mpoc how we had to have that patience to wait for not only the loss of the daily before we took our longs, but also how we had to wait for $43,000. It's so like I was saying in yesterday's stream while we were here. You know, I don't think this is a good long. Don't think this is a good short. You've got to have that patience to wait for the next retrace. And you obviously get the next retrace. I was patiently, I was the way I was trading it, I was patiently in my shorts. And, you know, you just have to then react when that, that comes along. So this is all really, really nice, isn't it? We have now hit all targets of this crab so this crab can be deleted the targets of that have been hit so now we have to bring up to our next you know what's happening right now we've acknowledged why we've bounced here we've acknowledged if you wanted to get that information live in the time it's exactly what i was going through in last night's champions live stream so there's that to be aware of and what we have going on now is where are we going up towards for our next sort of targets so Obviously, I've hit two take profits on this long, so that's something to be really be aware of. Um, but nevertheless, if we continue up here, where is the next target? Have a guess, ladies and gentlemen, have a guess. <laughs> What's staring at you right here? What is staring at you right here? It's that daily level, 47,000, basically $48,000. That's your next big level. I'm sorry, but that just is your next big level, $48,000. That's such a big, 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 big level now. Okay, so if we just come down to a lower term time frame, your next level there, 47,993 but you have to you have to view this as a bit of a region of course but yeah that that in my opinion is the is the next level of resistance if we start to clear that and this short squeeze continues you have to remember the stock market's very green today <laughs> stock market's green gold is green bitcoin futures obviously up um yeah you were in the middle of a short squeeze if we clear the daily we, we, you have to remember we could we couldn't the possibilities of course if we clear that daily, then I I would say you're looking towards fifty thousand dollars. Simple as that, really. Uh, but that daily is obviously a big resistance. I have hit two take profits on the long, but we'll wait and see how the rest of this goes. If we clear that daily, which is a really big resistance, of course. But if we clear it, we can look towards fifty thousand dollars. And look at this daily, by the way. Yesterday, when we breached the daily, you see how we back tested it to the exact dollar. So obviously, we were spending time below the daily. But after breaching that daily, which you can see how perfect it is, support, resistance, we lose it. We spend time below the daily, which is obviously what you're looking for for the harmonic. And then we come down to that $43,000 level. You hit all your levels of confluence. You stop out the early longs. But if you miss the long here, where was your next opportunity? Well, you obviously breach the daily have a guess who's compounding here offered a back test of this daily to the exact dollar let me just zoom in here and just show you how perfect these levels are we breach the daily we spend in total amount of time one hour 30 above it and then we get that quick back test to the absolute dollar 44888 ladies and gentlemen that was your last opportunity because after that perfect 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 back test we make our way up to now where we are here, 47, basically 47,500. I mean, I really hope that you can start to see here how really accurate the levels that we're going through and giving you in these videos are. And if you actually want to trade properly, 
you know, you can just see there's so much evidence that I'm giving you in this video that if, if you really want to learn and put in a bit of time, the technical analysis is really well respected. Where most people are thinking, you know, what are most people thinking yesterday? Most people are going to be thinking, oh, we're breaking down. I know for a fact that there's lots of people that were saying they're going to be longing at $39,000, $40,000. This is a bit of a meme and a bit funny, but look at this. 90% no, this was posted last night at, at around 9:30 p.m. 99% of the world waiting to buy $39,000. <laughs> well, we're going to be we're going to be longing before you and let's see if you everybody that's waiting for $40,000 misses out. <laughs> we we got we got to meet. I love these memes by the way. These are things that people make in the group and like I absolutely love all these memes. They're absolutely hilarious, but <laughs> yeah, basically, you, what you got to think, if, if lots of people are wanting to buy a certain level and it's really crowded, you're either going to smash through it or, you, or it's never going to be hit. And in my opinion, what we had last night was the scenario of it's not going to be hit, at least in the short term. Of course, short term I'm talking about here could hit in a, in a few days, but short term, everybody waiting to buy that. What are they going to be doing? They're all waiting for lower at this moment in time. They've missed out on the move. They're going to be FOMOing in where we're literally taking profits. So that's pretty funny, in my opinion. Um... So yeah, this is what I'm thinking. You are in a little bit of no man's land almost here at 47,500. You're in a bit of no man's land. You're either going to have, if you know, if you really want a short, I would wait at least for a local downtrend. If I'm totally honest, I don't think I would, yeah, I wouldn't short exactly where we are here. I'd want to see a bit higher before I, before I short it. Uh, obviously, I'm, I'm talking about a new trade. I must give this disclaimer, actually. Uh, no financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Um, make sure you pause and read that legal disclaimer. Uh, this is just my opinion and commentary, educational entertainment purposes. I personally wouldn't short where we are here. Uh, could we reject here and head down lower? Of course we could. But the way that I would approach this, if I was looking for a new short and I was in no trade right now, I would have to wait for a, a market structure change because I wouldn't, you know, I really wouldn't short here. We're, we're above 47K. Uh, I'd either want to see another push to the upside, short higher, which is obviously always preferable, or alternatively a loss in market structure. It does mean you short lower, but you have a higher probability. You have a really clear invalidation. So one would have thought after hitting the MPOC 47,400, we shouldn't breach it again if we get a market structure change. So that's the way that I'd approach the short. And, and I mean, would I long here if I was in no position? Of course I wouldn't. Like, this is this is the thing. You just, you just really have to have a bit of gumption about you. You have to have a bit of confidence. You got to be longing while you're at the lows. You honestly just have to be taking those trades when nobody else wants to take them. So this is the time to long. You know, this is the time to short when nobody else wants to short. Short when nobody else wants to long. Long. I mean, here probably mo everybody wants to long because they all missed out because they were expecting much lower prices. So of course we can continue this short squeeze up, but I wouldn't get involved in a new long here. You know, so really simply, if I again, if I was in no position, I'd have to wait. It's like I was saying yesterday, while price was here, I wouldn't want to have shorted here because I knew that this was our support zone. And I wouldn't have wanted a long here because I felt that we were going to get a retracement. So again, if you're in no trade, I would personally be patient here. I wouldn't want a short because we're above the big resistance. We are of 47k. We're above the MPOC and I would prefer to see higher order market structure change. So that's why I wouldn't short. Why wouldn't I long? Well, this is you know, why would I long when literally <laughs> this is where I'm happy to to take profits because I still have a bit of the percentage running. But, you know, I still feel we can short squeeze higher. I, I really do. But I couldn't open a new long here because, you know, I was literally taking longs near the absolute low of the move. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's that. So you guess your third option is to wait. You know, your third option and arguably the best option, what one would one say is wait to maybe reclaim the daily, reject the daily or get a market structure change. That That's really how I would approach this. Um, yeah, that really, really is how I would approach it. Uh, what I will say, ladies and gentlemen, the, the I gave two setups in this trade. Obviously, we had this. In, this is what I class more of an intraday long position, our bigger swing trade. Uh, which I feel is me really going to be appetizing and just the market commentary that I gave yesterday in yesterday's video. Oh, obviously this this live stream went on for one hour, one hour 30, one hour 30 live stream, deleting everything on the charts, working it up, working out that plan. You know, I was going through the psychology in the market. Why is a good time to enter trades? Why it's not a good time to enter trades? How I feel the market's going to be playing out over the next few weeks to month. So much insights in this video. And not only is it really insightful, but also, well, we gave a winning trade on it. So, uh, 
<laughs> people who say that the membership, well, the membership basically pays for itself because that. I saved people entering shorts. <laughs> at the very least, I would have saved people entering shorts at the very low. Best case scenario, they entered along with me and they made some money as well. So that's what you can expect in the Champions live stream. The big setup still hasn't played out. So if you want to know my next big Bitcoin trade, that's still in last night's Champions live stream. Chartchampions.com. You can go over and check that live stream out now for the Champions. Internally here, uh, for the free video, I have explained why we bounced, where we bounced off of that crab harmonic pattern and again for the education you know you're looking at that 1618 expansion of x to a if you want more details of how to learn this well we this is obviously what we do in the chart champions uh, educational group i've explained why uh, the next position i would take if i was in no position again i am in a position but if i was in nothing I personally would either wait for a market structure change for a short push higher or for the long reclaim um and I feel that this is as much as I can cover in this video. I've given you the next really important levels of resistance. I've given you the way that I would trade this if I was to enter a short. And um, yeah, I really hope that I've managed to help some people in this video. Um, and just shown you the absolute power of technical analysis. You know, we're able to recognize where price is going. And sometimes even weeks in advance of the levels that you have to be patient for. Again, I literally got trolled by people <laughs> even inside the group that when I was saying I'm going to be waiting for $43,000 were telling me this is never going to hit. You know, obviously we have irrational people inside the group as well. But it's, fun it's just funny that sometimes you just have to make that plan. You have to be patient. And I quote Imi here. Daniel's technical analysis is unreal. <laughs> Watch Daniel's live stream. He comes up with the same conclusion and far more. <laughs> I can't, I don't know. I'm just really, really happy, I suppose. Technical analysis working as expected. Seeing levels respected to the absolute dollar in terms of Fibonacci extensions. Levels respected to the absolute dollar in terms of our daily levels. Everything's going pretty, pretty well. I hope that you have a brilliant day. And intraday support i suppose around 46 500 um so yeah there you go have a brilliant day if you want to see more from me i'll be over in the chart champions discord now and for everybody else i'll see you in a day or two when i do my next video thank you thank you thank you thank you be prepared for upside be prepared for downside trade the charts and crush them and make some money cheers everybody thank you and goodbye cheers